All right. Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, today, we will start our new podcast in the other channel. So please inform your friends until further point, until we update you again. Uh, this is where we are going to broadcast our live broadcast. I'm, actually, I'm thinking to do it in Facebook, too, and maybe in Twitter. Uh, but for now, let us see, uh, you know, for now we're here. Uh, so please subscribe in case you are not a subscriber yet to this channel. Actually, this channel have a couple of thousands. It's not a small one. Uh, you know, and uh, it's good to uh, to reach out for those who they are waiting here for long, maybe hoping that I will do broadcast here. They don't know that I have the fun one. So anyway, uh, I posted another video there to inform in the Arabian channel, Arabian prophet that we are here. So please tell your friends and subscribe. In the front of us, we have a post made by the Muslims. And the post claiming that the Muslims, they follow Jesus more than you Christians. And you know, I, I always find the Muslims claims kind of funny, uh, even though it is, it is sad. Because, you know, why you Muslims, you want to follow Jesus anyway, if you have the best prophet in the earth. And as long as Jesus, you Muslims follow him, so you are following who by following Muhammad? Are you following Jesus? Let us see first the hypocrisy of, or maybe the ignorance, I don't know what to call it. They post for you from, from uh, the first Corinthians, chapter 11, verse number 6, and next to it, a picture of a woman wearing hijab. And they say, look what the Bible says. For if the woman be not covered, let her also be sh uh, uh, shown. But if it be the shame, a shame for a woman to be shorn or shaven, let her be covered. And, you know, I don't know, I don't know what to say. I thought, I thought, Paul is the enemy of Islam. I thought Paul is the enemy of Islam and every Muslim in the world hate Paul. I mean, if we search right now about articles or videos made by Muslims attacking Paul, how many we will find? Millions? How many? Jesus versus Paul? So suddenly, the Muslims, suddenly they want to quote for you, Paul. And suddenly, Paul is the best guy to follow. You Muslims, you just made a mistake. You claim that Jesus is the one you follow, but now you just taught me you are following Paul. Is my voice, guys, clear? Do you see, do you see the intelligence of the Muslims? Because when you are quoting for me, Paul, you Muslims, Abdul, listen carefully. When you are quoting for me, one of the apostles of Jesus, and you are claiming that this apostle, he fabricated the Bible, and his name is Paul, and then you go and you quote for me from the letters of Paul. So what does that mean? That means Paul is a truly the messenger of, of, of Jesus, and Jesus is God. You just admitted that you Muslims, first of all, you don't want to follow Jesus as much you want to follow Paul. In the same time, you admitted that you lie about Paul because he is the best example to follow, claiming that the one who follow this message, he is following Jesus. This is why I always I say, Muslims have a lack of intellect and intelligence. Same time, the Muslims, when they quote for us from the one they hate most, his name is Paul, why you don't quote for us the verses after that? Because it says after that, Abdul, in case you do not know how to read and how to write, the following. Uh, hold on, let us go to the Bible. All right. It says, 
but if a woman has a long hair it is a glory to her for hair hair is given to her for covering so what the verse you are quoting for me is not about wearing hijab you liar it's about the cover of the women is her hair <clears throat> God, He gave the women her cover, her honor. Why you did not quote for me the second verse after it? I will tell you why. Because it's based on deception, lying, and untruthful followers of Muhammad. So look how many mistakes the Abdul they did in a short statement. They accepted Paul as the one who speak for God. They accepted the Messiah to be God because Paul he claimed nothing of his own he claimed that this is what the Lord taught him and he accepted that the teaching of Paul is the true teaching of Islam did you see what you did to yourself Muslims did you see what you did to yourself you just destroyed your religion by quoting something you do not understand same time, uh, in the same chapter you are quoting for me from, you idiot, sorry to say it, it says, the, and the head of Christ is God. <laughs> I mean, you are going really in a big problem, my, my, my friend Abdul. Why you, you know Muslims are copy paste people? They don't even know what they are copying. They saw a verse speaking about covering, so hey, we got happy, get excited, party, party. Let us drink some camel urine. But then they find themselves they are in big problem. So they copy. Like now, if we bring you Zakir Naik and Zakir Naik speaking about Paul, what Zakir Naik will say, brother Thitter. Christianity have nothing to do with our beloved prophet Jesus Christ. What the Christian today they have is made by Paul. Paul is the one who fabricated Christianity. Okay. Paul is the one who fabricated Christianity, but to prove that we need to wear a cover, you go and you quote Paul. That because you are a bunch of hypocrites. Let us continue. Shall we? The second one, Matthew 26, 39. And he went a little farther and he fell in his face. Abdul, do you know what fail on his face mean? You Muslims, you have no idea what does that mean. This is not how he fell in his face. The picture for the guy next to you is a stupid picture, have nothing to do with this. The Jews, when they pray, they lay in the ground. They sleep, they sleep in the ground, they lay totally. So this is not even a close picture. However, someone might say from the Abdul that why Jesus even praying if he is a son of God? You know, why? You know, first of all, do you know that Allah in the Quran, he pray? You know, the Christian believe in the Trinity, so it is very normal for them to see that the son praying to the father. But the Muslim don't believe in the Trinity, so Allah, he pray to who? The Quran says that Allah Allah and his angels they are praying on the Prophet because the Prophet is the center of the world. Uh, why Allah and the angels they are praying? The Muslim they say, Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. This word here, you does not mean to pray, it's mean they are sending uh, blessing. That would be more even more funny. Because if Allah and the angels are sending a blessing on the Prophet, that's mean, that's mean, Allah and the angels are the source of blessing. That means the angels are God. All right? The angels must be God. How the angels can send the blessing? Any Abdul? You see, in the verse it says clearly here, Allahu wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi. 
so when the Messiah he pray he prayed to his father when Allah he pray he prayed to who and if Allah sending the blessing on Muhammad read carefully Lu Allah and his angels shower a blessing on the Prophet I mean if Allah he shower a blessing who need the, the, the angels anymore you know what I mean if I am if Allah is God and Allah he blessed me I mean who care for the angels who is the angels to give me blessing and then look at the first translation it says oh who you believe ask a blessing on him ask a blessing on him and salute him this is the more stupid statement because if Allah already blessed him what do you mean all believers ask for a blessing for him this is a man asking his followers to worship him to make him the center of everything to pray and use his name Allah angels believers everybody busy doing what praying on Muhammad but the important for me here the word here is you sully it's not a blessing but even if it's a blessing it is a disaster so you are not following Jesus even by the prayer the picture you posed for me there you can search and see how Jews they pray and you will find how they pray have nothing to do with the way you are posting for us however I can show you that Muhammad he was trying always to copy the Jews this is why you copy the Jews in recitation the Quran when when uh, when you watch a Muslim reciting the Quran and you watch a Jewish reciting the Quran you will see that how Muhammad act look at Muhammad Muhammad he changed his rules just to avoid the accusation because he was accused that he is copying from the people of the book the messenger of Allah used to stand up used and look with me with the word used which means he don't do it no more what happened used to stand up for a funeral enter the crops was placed in the grave a learned Jew once passed by him and said this is how we do it the prophet s-a-w-s-f-m mercedes-benz sat down and said act differently act differently immediately change change sit down sit down sit down this is a prophet of god this is a prophet of god i do listen carefully a prophet of god he pray as God taught him he don't change the prayer just because somebody said something funny this is uh, we This is how we do it. What's happening here? A prophet of God, he changed the way of a prayer just because a guy said to him, This is how we do it. What kind of a prophet? This means he's fabricating the prayer. That's mean he can change the prayer. That's mean is his prayer is not coming from God. This guy is a creating his own fabricated prayer. In a second, he changed the position of the prayer. So what do you mean we Muslims, we are uh, the one praying like Jesus? Muhammad, he changed the prayer because he saw someone, a Jew, he said to him, this is how we pray. So if Jesus was walking by and he said to Muhammad, hey, Habibi Muhammad, this is how we do it. What Muhammad will do? Habibi Muhammad. This is how we do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Sit down, sit down. Ghazal, ghazal, ghazal. Brother, sisters, brother, sister, sit down, sit down. This is how the Jews do it. We cannot do it the same. But, but, but prophet, but isn't it? This is how Allah He taught you to pray. Who care about Allah? I am Allah. Sit down, change it, change it. We change it in a second. That's mean you're Muslim. You don't have a prayer from God. This is just a fake.
prophet he changed anything like if Muhammad now he was walking by and Muhammad he uh, he was saying Allahu Akbar and I walk by I say to him hey Muhammad do you know that this is how we do it Allahu Akbar this is how we do it Allahu Akbar I do it Akbar do it Akbar do it Akbar, do it. The Prophet, he will start saying, don't say Allahu Akbar, say Allahu Asghar, which means Allah is small, not Allah is big. What kind of a Prophet this Prophet is? So you Muslim, you don't have a prayer. This is a fabricated religion. I changed the prayer just because somebody says to me, this is how we do it. I'm glad, ah, maybe Muhammad, he don't piss his standing because a Jew, he walked by and he said to him, a prophet this is how we do it so since then he start pissing sitting I mean that's amazing astonishing religion please invite your friends not many people knows that I'm broadcasting in this channel you know uh, and most of the people they are still at work in USA so let us cover the second part of the claim the Muslims the or the third part the first two we found that they are false and they are any truthful let us see the rest here the Muslim they say to you and swine because is the width in the hoof etc blah 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 etc etc okay so the Muslim now suddenly they are quoting for us from the book they quote for me just yesterday saying this is a sick book how many verses the Muslims they quote for us from this book saying this is sick this is bad this is disgusting book Suddenly, this verse is sweet. Then, why? Because it says, Don't eat pork. However, Muslims, let me tell you something. Because you are ignorant, I forgive you. The Quran says, You can eat pork. You can eat pork. Let us see. Hmm? Let us see. You know the Muslims, by the way, they are the last one to know. A Muslim man, a Muslim woman is the is the same as somebody married and his spouse is a cheating on him. He is the last one to know. Let us see. So why here in this verse in the Quran it says you can eat pork? The same verse that says you cannot eat pork is the same verse that says you can. Read with me carefully. Chapter 5, verse number 3. Hmm. It's forbidden for you, uh, etc. Dead meat, blood, flesh of swine, blah, 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 blah. Okay, then it says, hmm? read with me carefully. But if any is forced by hunger, there is no trans, you know, trans aggression here. Eat. Eat. Allah is all forgiving. So, it is not forbidden for you to eat swine. It is not forbidden for you to eat ham. I'm hungry. If you are hungry, you eat. And usually people, they eat when, when. They eat when they are hungry. A Muslim, he will say to you, this is in the case like you are might die. You know, so then you can eat a swine. Yeah. If this is the case, this is mean you can eat dead meat. You can eat a dead man. Right? Because you are hungry. So either it's forbidden totally or it is not. Same time. Why you Muslims, you claim that the pig is forbidden? The answer is very simple. You are just copying what is written in the Old Testament. Muhammad is trying to copy the Jews. Otherwise, I challenge you to tell me one reason why you cannot eat it dirty all animals are dirty but you have no idea Muhammad is just copying the Jews and he put it there if we go back to the post in Facebook <clears throat> here And we focus on the verse in the front of us. 
chapter 14 verse number 8 what about you post for me some more verses in that chapter and see if it does match with Islam or maybe the other verses don't match with Islam only this verse from the whole book match with Islam so you are saying to me we follow Jesus but we don't want to follow Moses for the whole book does not match with Islam like you know as an example if you are following Jesus that's mean you should not have children as wives if you follow Jesus you should not kill people because you don't believe in your religion if you follow Jesus you should not hate if you follow Jesus you should not steal if you don't if you don't you know the Quran all of it is about theft and killing and hate if we go in the Quran what Jesus said According to your Quran, or let us say that if, if the Quran is a book match with Jesus teaching Let us see if the Quran is a book match with Jesus teaching first of all Allah in the Quran he play the devil Not the devil play The devil be careful with me The Muslim translation for the Quran always false chapter 7 verse number 16 the shaitan he said to Allah because you deceived me because what you deceived me I'm going to revenge the Muslim translation it says look at this look at the Muslim translation hmm? because you has it has thrown me out of the way what does that mean the word in Arabic is awaitani seduce me deceive me this is what awaitani mean The Quran confirmed that Allah is the one who deceived shaitan and he is the one who seduced him to do sin. And all of us, we knew that Muslims believe that sin is something Allah, he decide, not you do. You remember? We showed you, we showed you how Adam debated with Moses and Moses was, uh, you know, uh, uh, telling Adam, you are the one because of you, we are misleaded. Because of you, we are misleaded. Read with me carefully. Moses said to Adam, Because of you, we are out of heaven. All those hadith, and by the way, the Muslim they will say to you, Oh brother, those are weak hadith, those are not weak hadith, Abi Potato. Don't say that. Don't play that game. Not, not, not with the Christian friend. This is Sahir Bukhari. Read with me carefully. The Prophet said, Adam and Moses argue with each other. Moses said to Adam, Adam, you are the one, you are our father who disappointed us and turned away, turned us out of paradise. Then Adam said to him, Oh Moses, Allah favored you with his talk. Talk, which means talk to you directly. And he wrote the Torah for you with his hands do you blame me for action which Allah had written in my faith 40 years before my creation what does that mean you see the Muslims they try to convince you that Islam is a religion makes sense if, uh, uh, last week we have a guy uh, from you know his uh, he convert in jail and uh, when I ask him about a baby, he will go to heaven or go to hell. He says that the, it, uh, it doesn't make sense that a baby will go to hell. But when I showed him that as a prophet says a baby, he might go to hell. You know, he was like, what? So look carefully. We cannot blame Adam for his sin. Why? Because the sin of Adam was the decision of Allah before Adam was created 40 years before the creation of Adam the fate of the sin of Adam was written by Allah that's exactly what happened to Satan the Muslim believe in fate and that about everything your life your wealth your poor your sin everything written by Allah before he created you 
40 years before the existence of Adam Allah he decide what Adam will do so Adam is saying to Moses are you stupid or what huh Habibi Moses are you stupid or what it is not my sin you idiot go and reign about Islam in my religion in Islam it says that our sin is written 40 years before he created us and look what Muhammad he said Muhammad he taught us who is the one was the winner in the debate so Adam read carefully so Adam won won the debate Adam get Moses busted and not only that the prophet he repeated that Adam was the winner Adam was the winner three times you know here we go the three time machine I mean isn't it enough to say Adam was the winner just once no three times ah, the Muslims are slow he have to say it three times so in Islam even shaitan is a victim of Allah deception so shaitan in the Quran he says to him because you did awaitani which mean you deceived me I'm going to seek revenge but the fact anyway Allah he wrote the destiny of shaitan 40 years before he created him his sin his act everything written by Allah so shaitan is a good guy in Islam he is a victim actually shaitan uh, is a Muslim even Muhammad he confirmed in the in the hadith that he have a shaitan who command him to do good hmm? have you ever heard of some any prophet like that before no I mean what how this happen read with me carefully there is none amongst you whom is not attached from amongst the jinn and the devil they the companion said Allah messenger with you too thereupon he said yes with me too but Allah helps me against him so I am safe from his hand and he does not command me but for good have you ever heard of a prophet he admit that shaitan command him to do good this is a good shaitan have you ever heard of a devil he is a good guy do you see it do you see it a Muslim he might say oh this is about the genie not about the shaitan my friend it says this is your translation the devil and you can go and the word in Arabic actually it is shaitan read carefully here we go let me let me move a little bit to different hadith all right read carefully with me I look for the messenger of Allah and put my hand uh, on his hair like what you put his hand on his okay romantic time your shaitan has come to you I said she he said she said do I have a shaitan he said yes but the shaitan converted to Islam he submitted he surrendered Actually, in Arabic it says "fa'aslam," which means he surrendered, not submitted. So the Muhammad is the only one who have a shaitan, but the shaitan is a Muslim shaitan. That is the stupid religion of Islam. There's nothing there makes sense. Now, did Jesus taught us that shaitan is a believer? Did Jesus taught us? That shaitan converted to Christianity that will be hilarious shaitan command the prophet shaitan he have a companion he is shaitan he is a companion of the prophet and this is a good shaitan since when the evil is a good one there's a good evil and bad evil when he say here that he command me the shaitan he command me but to do good Muhammad is confirming something very important that he received command from shaitan what is the good what is the good commands coming from shaitan Muslims anyone can tell us 
what is the good commands is coming from the devil so you Muslims have a problem number one problem you think that you are following Jesus but yet you are following a stupid religion upside down you think you hate Paul but you quote for us a Paul statement to prove a point as we saw in the Muslim post in Facebook Paul is the enemy of Allah Paul, and by the way even Paul is a messenger of God in your book but you Muslims are ignorant and you have no idea as usual you know there's a video <coughs> made by uh, someone his name Abdullah Green or something like that he said uh, John John who Mark Mark who look look who yeah, hold on hold on go and read the book of John it says who is he who he did we have full information who is John who is his father who is his family where they are from what are you talking about now I want to ask you the same question chapter 36 verse number 14 Allah saying we sent to them two messenger and then they rejected them so we string them with the third okay the first two messengers what's their name who is a Muslim he will get a gift from me uh, around it like one-way ticket to Afghanistan if he can tell me what is the first messenger what is the second messenger and what is the third messenger I mean what the point of this story then to understand this chapter we go to the Muslim website we find that those messengers are John Yohanna Shama'un Simon and Paulus Paul so Paul is a messenger of Allah but yet he was sent by Christ again that will make a Christ God for a prophet he cannot send prophets and those prophets not only did the, they, they, they came they made miracles they resurrected people from death they resurrected people from death if we go right now and see tafsir huh? tafsir ibn kathir let us go <coughs> uh, please guys invite your friends and if you are a muslim invite your four wives and 70 children and join us please so if we go here Uh, read carefully with me so we send them two messengers we send them two messengers they deny them both means they hasten to this the, the, to, to disbelieve in them so we we reinforce them with the third so the third one is like the one who do like body building you know like uh, this is the strong one uh, ooh, uh. okay we'll send them the two first two they are weak you know they did not eat good they were in diet so they could not make it so now we will send them the third the third his specialty is taekwondo so we send the third means we support it and string them with the third messenger Ibn Jurair one of the Sahaba of the Prophet supposedly reported or the companions they said from Wahhab, from 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 it says the names of the first two messengers is where Shamoon Simon and the second is Johanna which means John and the name of the third is Bulos which means Paul and the city is Antakya so you Muslims you call Paul names upside down every day when he is in your books has a messenger of God not only that he is the bodybuilder messenger what do you think hmm? uh, there is a guy he said he if he defeated me in this topic if defeated what do you mean defeated me call me you want to call me guys do you think this guy he will call me let me turn on my uh, skype call me and defeat me let us let us laugh together at the you, i never saw a muslim by the way debating me and he did not defeat me all of them they are i mean they are amazing powerful super superman Call me, my Skype now is on. Give me a call, Abdul. How you can defeat me? 
because this is what your Ibn Kathir is saying, you idiot. This is not me. This is not my opinion. Are you going to defeat your scholars? Huh? The one is saying that is not me as a Christian. I don't believe in one word in your books. Your prophet is a thief. He hijacked the names and the stories from our books and other people's books. And he claimed that those are his stories. So now he hijacked Paul, he hijacked John, he hijacked Shemaun, and he says, uh, those are the messenger of Allah. Any Muslim would like to call? Paul is not Paulus. No, it is Paulus. You idiot. In Arabic, his name is Paulus. Go and ask any 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 Arab. You are a liar, like your prophet. Paulus. This is Shamaun. In English, is Simon. This is Johanna, which means John, and this is Paulus, which means Paul. And you are an idiot. With certify with certification from the College of Pakistan. All right. Yeah, Bolas is translated as Paul in Arabic. Really? Uh, no, in Arabic we don't have the name Paul, you liar. In Arabic we have Bolas. Bolas. Abdul. You cannot find Abdul. He knows what he's talking about. Anyway, so you Muslims, you claim that you follow Christianity. Okay, if you follow Christianity, then how you don't follow the teaching of Jesus? If you are saying we follow Jesus more than you, Christians, then you should not marry Aisha at the age of six. Why Jesus, who you Muslims claim to follow him, his behavior does not match with the behavior of Muhammad? Jesus said the one who hurt those little ones it's better for him to hang a milestone in his neck and throw himself in the deep ocean your prophet he have a sexual desire when when he was at the age of 54 to a six years old child and remember six years old child in the Islamic calendar which means she is five the prophet he used to fund the Aisha from the age of six to nine and the age of nine he have full intercourse with her. How you follow Jesus by doing that? That is not following Jesus. Jesus said, love your enemy, bless them, bless those who curse you. What Muhammad, he said. Muhammad, he curse everybody, he shout at everybody, he want to kill everybody. He want to expel everybody from the Arabian Peninsula, only those who follow him, because he's a hateful man. Muhammad, he said, my wish, if I am certainly the winner, I will expel the Jews and the Christians from the Arabian Peninsula. So how Muhammad, he is following the same teaching of Jesus, but yet he want to kill every Jew? He want to kill every Christian and he want to make the Arabian Peninsula zero Christians. Huh? Well, that is your problem. You see, guys, uh, watch with me carefully what this Abdul he just said. Hold on. Hold on. This is very important. Watch carefully what this Abdul he just post in the text. I'm going to put it for you in the screen. Hold on. I like it when the Abdul they they like they play smart supposedly. Okay, look at this. Satan Paul did not meet Jesus. He came 30 years after Jesus. So Muhammad, he came 600 years after Jesus, you idiot. He did not meet Jesus. How come you accept him to speak about Jesus? 
600 years after Jesus. Do you see the hypocrisy of the Abdul? They accept a man who came 60, sorry, 600 years after Jesus to speak about Jesus. He never met Jesus. He never saw Jesus. But they have no problem with him. But they don't accept Paul, as this guy claimed that Paul came 30 years after Jesus. This is his says, not my, not my words. So the hypocrisy of the Muslims is amazing. 30 years after Jesus is not accepted, he never met Jesus. But Muhammad, who came 600 years after Jesus, he taught us about Jesus. Answer, answer. What, why you accept the one who came 600 years, Abdul? You don't, you Muslim don't prove, don't prove, don't preach monotheism. I challenge one Muslim to prove to me that he believe in monotheism. You are a Muslims. You don't believe in monotheism. This is a lie. This is a big fat lie. The Muslims they keep saying to us. And actually, it is us, the Christian, who believe in monotheism. Because we believe one God is one. We don't believe God is a three, as some stupid they they, they claim. God is one. We don't have three gods. The Trinity is not about three gods. Never was, never been, never taught this way. It is you who believe in many gods, and we can prove it. Call me. Call me, and right away you will see how we will get you busted with this one. So the hypocrisy of the Abduls is amazing. 600 years of Muhammad after Jesus, never met, he don't even speak Hebrew. He don't speak Aramaic. He does not know anything about Jesus. Yet he was, he is the one who will tell us what happened to Jesus and the cross. He is the one who will tell us what Jesus said to Allah. Right? My friend, don't talk about pagans. It is only Islam. We Christian, we never taught in our churches that if you kiss a black stone and touch it, your sin will be forgiven. That is Islam. You know, the funny about Muslims, they speak about pagans left and right, but they are the true pagans. They pray around the Kaaba. They kiss the stones. They believe it's a holy stones. And all their religion is based on stones. And yet they claim that they are not pagans. A prophet who kisses stones and he tells us that those stones is going to have eyes, is going to have ears, and is going to have a tongue. Hmm? I made the picture before. I don't want to draw it again. Should I draw it again for you, Abdul? Do you want to draw, to draw the picture for the black stone according to your prophet? Hold on. Just to refresh your imagination. I will search for the black stone image. In a second. Give me a second. Okay, Abdul, look with me. I, I will show you the hadith where your prophet he said that the black stone is going to have, is going to witness, is going to have eyes and ears and tongue. Hmm? Based on your prophet, the black stone is going to have a tongue like this. I mean, that's astonishing. Okay, this is the tongue of the black stone. And not to mention, by the way, I mean, to forget to mention that the black stone has a shape of a vagina because it is coming from the old religion before Islam, where the black stone present the fertility religion and worship. So this black stone is going to have a tongue in the judgment day. And this nice tongue is going to witness for the Abdul in the judgment day. And as I remember in the story of Muhammad, this uh, 
this tongue have a pimple so let me add the pimple hold on uh, pimple here okay and this stone is going to have eyes oh how sexy mean I hope the Muslims will not get excited with these eyes Eesh. so now we have eyes we have a tongue for the black stone and Muhammad he said whoever touched the black stone and the Yemeni corner which is other holy stone Allah will erase his sin and you are telling me about paganism that you are not a pagan you believe that there is a stone it is a holy stone this stone is going to talk it have a tongue it has eyes is going it, it hear you is going to witness for you and not only that Muhammad he says that the black stone is the right hand of Allah and you dare to speak about you are not a pagan so if you are not the big pagan who is the pagan then who is the pagan all of this is not paganism by the way I have copyright over my art so don't copy my image and print it out and sell it like a, a price of two million dollars you know you know like I'm very good in painting as you see what do you think what do you think should I put it in the museum guys I'm going to contact the museum in Paris and see you know how much how many million dollars they will buy it especially after I put my like my my touch you know always in my in my art I have my special touch like you see the pimples there that pimple will make the picture so the paint so expensive if I did not add the pimple in the tongue of the black stone that will make it only maybe a million dollar paint but now because of the pimple because Muslims they love pimples do you want me by the way to show you Aisha saying that she have a pimple in her tongue and the Prophet was sucking it I mean, that's amazing love story you see I never mentioned this before but I just remember now because we're talking about the pimple the Prophet he suck the tongue of Aisha because she have a pimple okay Do we have any Muslim? So why you say to us you follow Jesus, you Muslim? You don't follow Jesus. Did Jesus kiss his stones? Did Jesus say the stones is going to have tongues and eyes? Did Jesus say the, the 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 hand of my father is a black stone? Why you lie to us? You say you are not a pagan. You are a pagan. A prophet of God yet but he's saying that if you touch a stone your sin will be erased why who is a Muslim when explain to me how Jesus is a Muslim but you are kissing stones and believe stones will forgive your sin what do you say explain to us how stain guys can a Muslim explain to us how the black stone is going to forgive the sin huh how this will happen it is a stone it is a stone at the end of the day it is a stone okay how this stone is going to forgive the sin of Abdul what happened exactly explain to us the power of this stone any Muslim would like to call me and explain to me how the black stone what is the what is the special power this stone has Let's get you the hadith about the black stone. Here we go. Read with me. Abu Abdul Rahman, uh, why do I only see you? Oh, Abu Abdul Rahman, why I only see you touching these two corners? A Muslim is asking another companion during the Hajj. Why, why, how, why? Explain to us, explain to us why you are doing that. So Abu Abdul Rahman said, 
I heard the messenger of Allah says touching them erase sin and I had him say whoever scramble or shrunk shrunk and blue late seven time it is like freeing a slave okay so we don't free slave no more what we do we go around the Kaaba amazing you see, he Muhammad, he don't want you to free slave. So you don't free slave. Why you want to free slave? Why, for the sake of Allah, brother, you want to free a slave? Go around the Kaaba seven times. It's the same as if you free slave. So now I still I can own slaves and humiliate the slaves, but I just go around the Kaaba and I do a seven, seven, eleven uh, around the trip. The most important here that if you touch those two stones, your sin is erased, guys. I made. I don't know how many thousand video against Muhammad or what I need to do buy a ticket hmm? play like as a Muslim I saw many Jewish actually going to Mecca you know and uh, uh, I touched the black stone and my all the sin I did against the Prophet of Allah is forgiven just touch the stone who is the pagan You see, he, he don't have to pray. He don't have anything. Just touch the stones and you are, your sin is erased. That is a religion. Do we have any Muslim here? Don't forget, guys. Don't forget, please, to subscribe to this channel because we will do live podcasts from now on until I update you uh, in this channel. All right? And actually, I'm thinking to do live broadcast in Twitter and in Facebook. We will see. I will I will let you know. Do we have any Muslim would like to give me a call? Do we have any Muslim would like to give me a call? So why you lie to us saying that you Muslims you follow Jesus? Jesus is not pagan. He never taught us that stones forgive your sin. Huh? What, what, what? The black stone is the oldest artifact, and obviously at the Kaaba, you worship the Creator directly. So why? So how you worship the Creator? But if you touch the stones, your sin is forgiven. Explain to us, guys. Look at look what the Muslims saying. If you, when you go to the Kaaba, you are worshiping the Creator. And by the way, what the Creator? The Quran confirmed that there's many creators. What do you mean the Creator? Which one? Which one? Isn't it the Quran says Allah is the best of the creators? The second you say he is the best of the creators, that means there's many creators. Which one is Allah? Read the statement of the Abdul, please. This is the statement of the Muhammadan. He is right now with us in the chat. All right. On judgment day, everything come in contact with be a witness what, what in the judgment day the black stone is going to witness guys did you did you see what this guy he said he just admitted that he believed that the black stone is going to witness that is paganism living a stone and this is stone is in connection of God this is stone is the right hand of Allah this is a stone is working for Allah. That is what pagan believe. That you know, pagan they don't believe that the stone itself is God. They believe that this stone present their God. So they make an idol for it. And now you just admitted that this black stone in the judgment day is going to be the witness. And the proof of that it is the oldest artifact, and obviously at the Kaaba you worship the creator directly who, who is your creator directly you don't worship any creator because the Quran confirmed there's many creators which one even in the Quran Jesus is a creator he created from the mother bird So the Muslims always they try to fool us saying that they follow Abraham they are the one who believe in the religion of Abraham they are the one who followed the true Jesus and the true Moses 
but as you see even Musa's don't believe what what they believe if we go back if we go back a little bit hold on just to show you that Musa is not Muslim based on this debate between Adam and Musa's Adam Adam is a Muslim Musa's is a follower of Jesus why look at this read with me carefully the Prophet said Moses argued with Adam said to him Adam you are the one who got the people out of paradise by your sin what does that mean guys anyone anyone can help me what does that mean when Moses he said because of you Adam we are out of paradise what does that mean somebody help me can somebody help 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 what does that mean? That means Moses is not a Muslim. That means Moses he believe in the original sin. Correct? Moses is not a Muslim as the Muslim they lie to us and they say he's a Muslim because he believe in the original sin. And remember, this debate happened, which is funny, after Moses died. This is supposedly in heaven. So Moses he spent his life believing in original sin and Allah did not correct him. I mean how stupid that is. If Moses is wrong, how come Allah did not correct Moses, his a prophet, and Moses was teaching his followers wrong teaching all his life? He was teaching them that there is original sin. What do you say? Muslims anyone want to answer how Moses is a Muslim but yet he believe in the original sin I want to know any Abdul that's false my friend that's false a Muslim is someone who throw rocks at his neighbors who curse them he wish them death someone he hate everybody including himself someone who believe original sin is not Islam and that is not Musa's as you see Musa's he don't believe in what you believe so answer now don't give me a Muslim is the one who starts submit to Allah what's sorry submit to who you know when the Muslim they speak about submission is like having sex you go to bed and you open your, your hand and your legs and what are we talking about what submit what is the word submit even exist in the Quran if we search the whole Quran we will not find the word submission exist once we submit to Allah. We submit the Creator. What, where is the word submit? Where? I want to see it. Who is the Muslim want to call me and show me the word submit? Fabricators, liars. Copy paste. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, please. And if we decide to do in Facebook, we will let you know. I mean, live broadcast. Where is the word submit? No, submit does not mean it's Islam, my friend. The word is Islam or Islam means surrender, not submit. That's a false translation. This is why Muhammad he used to say, Aslim Taslam. Aslim Taslam. Which means surrender, you will be safe. Aslim Taslam, read with me carefully. Read with me carefully. He said, He said, Aslim Taslam. I came to the Prophet. He said to me, What is Islam? Ya Adi, Fakala Ya Adi ibn Hatim. Aslim Taslam. What does that mean? You see, the translation is not even there. Where is where is the translation for Aslam Taslam? It's not even there. I don't see it in the English. Where is the word Aslam Taslam? Hold, hold on. Enter Islam and you will be safe. This is the translation of the Muslims. Do you see it, guys? Do you see it? Safe from what? The Muslims will not kill you. Aslam Taslam.
and here you will see you have to believe in the divine decrees the divine decrees what does that mean that's mean your sin is written for you before you are created as we showed you so it's time believe that your fate is written long before you are created and everything is a stupid which mean you are just a sex toy in the hand of Allah he played chess with you he make your sin he make you sin he make you go to hell he make you go to heaven it's up to him he's plain it's not your sin or anything of the it's not your deeds the same story we see when when we explain how Muhammad he said that even a baby infant who just die and he is not in the age of sin he might go to hell why because simply Allah he wrote his sin before he created him you see it this is a story reported and this is a sahih hadith when Aisha she said after a funeral of a little child who never reached the age of sin he is an infant she said oh there is a happiness for this child who is a bird from the birds of paradise for it commit no sin nor has reached the age of when one can commit sin so let us confirm first that this baby never commits sin and he did not even reach the age of sin so he is a pure of sin Muhammad he did not agree he said Aisha Aisha <coughs> their adventure it might be the otherwise okay don't be say stupid things now you are making poo poo now this is not true because God created for paradise who are fit for it as an example I will give you an example who fit for paradise do you know the guy the cute guy his name is a Christian Prince this guy he fit perfectly for paradise yes he have no sin he commit no sin he never do any something wrong as I know so this baby he might go to hell why because Allah Allah he decreed his sin before he decreed his destiny before he made him alive I mean what kind of religion this religion is what is that the little baby child will go to hell Yeah, this is the voice of a cat smoke heavy smoke you know yeah I mean look at the logic of this religion man look at this logic a baby child will go to hell why if you Muslims follow Jesus well Jesus said if you don't become the same as those little ones you will not enter heaven you have to be you have to be a pure person you have to think like them so what do you mean you follow Jesus Jesus don't believe and never taught that a child will go to hell is that correct Muslim so if Jesus was is a Muslim and how Jesus he have totally the opposite direction in everything and Muhammad even this like something very logical a child who never commits sin why he will go to hell I mean that's crazy why what is the logic of Muhammad the logic is very simple well in Islam your sin is written for you know your destiny of uh, hell or heaven written for you before your creation have nothing to do with your sin Islam is a stupid religion my friend your sin have nothing to do with you where to go that is the truth So don't lie to us and say you Muslims you f follow Jesus you don't follow Jesus you have nothing to do with Jesus 
if you follow Jesus, you believe that children should not go to hell for they commit no sin. What kind of a prophet he says such a thing? Jesus said, Let the little children come to me. Let the little children, the little ones, come to me. Why? Why he said that? Don't forbid them to come to me. For of such is the kingdom of the heavens. You see the teaching of Jesus, my friend? It is far away from the teaching of Islam. So don't lie to yourself and fool yourself and say, Jesus, he is a Muslim. A Muslim is someone believe that little baby still he might go to hell. Where is justice? Where is justice? If you go to Matthew chapter 19, let me pull out the verse for you. <clears throat> Just to show you how he used the difference between the teaching of Christ and the teaching of the madman Muhammad. There is no way Muhammad in match with the teaching of Christ in any way, in any mean. Not even close. Read carefully with me. Matthew 19, 14. But Jesus said, Suffer little children and forbid them not to come into me, for such is the kingdom of heaven. So Jesus not only saying that children, they will go to heaven. The heaven is made for them. The heaven is made for such ones. Your prophet, he have a different heaven and different idea who goes to heaven, who goes to hell. And it's out of logic. Ask anyone in any religion. I mean, even, even if somebody, he's an atheist. If you want to discuss with him, like, okay, who deserves to go to a place which is a good place? If we bring you someone... He is an adult, he commits sin, he hurt people, and someone, he is a child. Which one deserves to go to the good place? Forget about heaven. The logic is the child. Even that logic in Islam is not exist, for this is a stupid religion. And you have to admit that this is a stupid religion. Do we have any Muslim would like to call me? Do we have any Muslim would like to give me a call? This is, you know, which means, guys, based on this story, based on Muhammad teaching, that the Quran is speaking about doing good deeds. That what is the good deed in Islam, by the way? To attack the Christians, to rape some Christian women, to attack uh, some Western, kidnap them, stab them, go over some Western in the coffee shop by your car. The killing as much as you can from the infidels, from the Jews, from the Hindus, from the Buddhas, from the atheists, from the gays, and from the lesbian. And that is the good deeds. And that supposedly will take you to heaven. But we find that this is a lie. Because here it says, it doesn't matter what you do. Even if you commit no, no sin, still you might go to hell. What do you mean a liar? Show me then why, why the baby will go to hell. Answer. You see, guys, he said to me, liar, show me. Isn't this is your prophet saying that? Isn't it, this is your prophet saying that? Huh? This is your prophet. What do you mean liar? You see, the funny thing about Muslims, we show them what their prophet said, and yet they say to you, liar. They say, oh, this is a weak hadith. Hold on, this is not a weak hadith. You are the liar. Here we go. Do you see it? This is sahih. Anything you show them about their prophet say they say to you this is weak by the way even the weak one is accepted But as you see this is sahih which means correct Any sin will be answerable well show me then this 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 baby did not commit sin Abdul are you are you crazy or what? This baby never commit sin never reached the age of sin. He never did any evil why he might go to hell explain to us 
as you see it says your prophet he explained to us don't tell me you know more about Islam and more than your prophet he created them in the loins of their father and he created hell and he created the people for it and he created them in the loins of their father which means when you are not even created yet Allah decided you for you where you will go so you commit sin you don't commit sin it doesn't matter do you see it that is a stupid religion the hadith did not say babies will go to hell no it does say that it does say that correct guys everybody can read easy Aisha is the one who said he will go to heaven Muhammad he don't agree otherwise you are stupid you don't understand English and if you don't understand English I don't think you understand Arabic anyway but let me read for you in Arabic قالت عائشة فقلت طوبى لهذا وصفور من أصافير الجنة لم يعمل سوءا ولم يدركه قال أو غير ذلك يا عائشة خلق الله عز وجل الجنة وخلق لها أهلا وخلقهم في أصلاب آبائهم وخلق النار وخلق لها أهلا وخلقهم في أصلاب آبائهم Now you want to tell me it doesn't say that you cannot play this game with me Arabic is my first language by the way the one is asking me where are you from I'm black blonde African American from Japan looking for a brand new wives between the age of six to nine because I'm a Muslim I want to get married the same as the Prophet six to nine huh? Mashallah. so what do you mean to me what do you mean we are lying what do you mean the hadith doesn't say that the child did not commit sin it's in the front of you By the way, the Muslims, it doesn't matter what Christian prince you say, they say to him, right, right away, liar. Once the Muslim in the chat room, you know, they saw when they see my name, they get so excited, they get so angry, excited, nervous, and like it was in Paltok, and the admins start giving code. The whole room became admins. You know, admins is the one who have control. Like the room suddenly had like 60, 70 admins just because I entered the room. And they said, hey, Christian prince, because they thought they are in control. You know, they can give me that, they can shut me up. So I took the microphone and I said, the Prophet Muhammad never raped a child. The Muslim in the text, all of them, they start saying, liar, liar, he never steal, liar, he never stole an underwear, liar, they never accused by stealing underwear, liar, he never did something bad, liar, he never commit a crime. Li so they were calling me liar for saying their Prophet never commit a crime. Their Prophet never stole an underwear. The Muslim, they were saying to me liar, which means they are not listening. And then the admin, he thought the whole room. He said, you stupid idiot. Even he come to our room and he beat us again. And you don't listen. He is saying to you, the prophet never commits sin. You say liar. He said, the prophet never stole underwear. You say liar. He said, the prophet never raped Aisha. You say liar. He beat us in our chat room again. Because it doesn't matter what I say. Christian Prince is talking liar. They cannot take the truth that I am not your father, I'm not your dad, okay? You cannot handle the truth. They have a lack of intellect. And I don't know what to do. I mean, is it, is it my fault that you Muslims aren't smart? What, what's my fault? It's not my fault. liar the hadith in the front of them in the screen liar i mean isn't it in front of you isn't it this is your muslim website isn't this your translation isn't it says that i actually said he commit no evil he did not even reach the age of evil and you say to me liar what happened to abdul he died somebody get some camera you're in brother This is a religion. This is not a religion. This is like gambling. This is exactly a gambling. Because now in Islam, if you are accepting to be a Muslim, you are gambling because it doesn't matter what you do. Your luck is what is going to decide for you. And Muhammad even make, made it more horrible. Let me show you. <clears throat>
Read with me. First of all, Muhammad he made he made a prophecy that all his followers, or most of them, they will become mushrikeen and they will worship false gods. This is the hate in front of you, but this is not my topic now. Hold on. <coughs> Uh, where is the hadith? Okay, here we go. <coughs> Read with me, Abdul, and please show respect. This is your prophet talking. If the prophet Muhammad says something, it's my it that's mean it's true. I never saw Muhammad saying a lie. I have to witness for that. Look at this. Once a Muslim he wanted to debate me, and he caught for me this hadith, and he said. Well, you Christians are very much divided and deceived. Even the Prophet of Allah, he says that the Jews will be 71 sect. And the Christian, there will be 71 or 72 sect. And I said, that's it? Why you stop? He said, yeah, deceived. Deceived. Most of you will go to hell. I said hold on read carefully your prophet said my community will split into 73 sect and not only that you see this hadith here is not complete the full hadith says that only one of them they are going to go to heaven read carefully with me read carefully Let me see. Where is the full hadith? La, 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 la. I mean, here we go. The zoos, Abdul, read with me carefully. I forgot Abdul's cannot read. It's against their nature. The zoos will split into 71 sect okay which of which will be in paradise okay so only one sect will go to paradise take a note so now the jews one sect i will put here number one okay number one all right from the jews only one sect will go to heaven the rest which mean 70 sect will go to hell all right the christian split into 72 sect Seventy-two, seventy-one. Muhammad is not sure. What does that mean? Have Have you ever heard a, a, such a statement? In seventy-two, seventy-one. What does that mean? Okay, let it go. Let it go. Of which will be in hell, and one in paradise. So now, the percentage of the Jews is one, two. 70 the percentage of the let's say the, the luck the luck of the Jews the, the possibility the Christian their possibility to go to heaven is one uh, two seventy one. Oh, sorry. There is seventy-one. Here is seventy-two. Let me let us clean the screen. Hold on. Yeah. The Jews is one to seventy-one. The Christians are one to seventy-two. Now Muhammad he continues saying I swear I swear huh he swear look how serious this is he swear by the one whose hands is the soul of Muhammad this is serious 
my nation will split into 73 sect one of which will be in paradise and 72 will be in hell like what the heck that's mean your percentage to go to hell Muslims or to heaven sorry is 1 to 73 that's mean being a Muslim is the worth is the worst chance because you have less chance than the Christians and the Jews to go to heaven correct guys who is the one witnessing that Muhammad himself Muhammad himself saying if you are a Muslim your chance to go to heaven is 1 to 73 72 sect will go to hell if you are a Christian your chance is 1 to 72 <laughs> So which one is better to be? Any Abdul? Which one is better to be? Based on this hadith, the best one is to be a Jew. I want to be a Jew. I want to be a Jew. <laughs> Do you see it, Abdul? The lucky one based on this is being a Jew. Because the Jew, their chance to go to heaven is 1 to 71. Who is a Muslim want to explain to us your chance to go to heaven is 1 to 73 You see it And by the way the sect Muhammad he speak about is the lowest number between His followers because he said Muhammad not only between his followers all mankind Muhammad he says Islam is start as a strange and will end as a strange so to make it simple if you are doing gambling that's exactly what Islam is about in the gambling if you choose to be a Jew your choice they give you like they give you a, a, a 71 card and one of them is the one let us say uh, uh, the ace will, will take you to heaven hmm? the Christian they will give you a 72 card your chance is one card will take you to heaven. The Muslim, they will give you 73 cards, which means is the hardest, and your luck is going to be the worst. What do you mean false in front of you? Guys, this guy, he keeps saying false. He keeps saying false. It's in the front of your eyes. <laughs> and look at the Muslim translation here, the false translation they say. And they said to him, who are those who will go to heaven? He said, the main body. It doesn't say that. He says, a jama'ah. A jama'ah is not the main body, Abdul. It is the group. The group. He didn't say who. Who? Any Abdul? I see here in my broadcast uh, page it says 166 people wa uh, 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 watching us only what is the Abdul wives and children come on who is a Muslim would you give me a call and by the way today I feel weak you know I didn't like I did not eat good who is going to call me this is your best choice and chance today I feel weak I did not take a uh, any of uh, the, the the good food anyone who is a Muslim he is a proud about his religion would like to call I don't want to receive uh, calls from Christians for now anyone you are a doctor perfect this guy is a doctor call me man I mean you are the perfect one to speak to this guy is a doctor dr. Zakir Naik is going to give us a call please tell everybody Dr. Abram, Dr. Zakir Naik, call us, call us, brother, sister. A sister asked him a question about why we Muslims, Allah, he promised us, a woman, her bum is going to be one mile size. It's very logical, and everybody knows that size does matter. Imagine you marry a wife and she is so skinny. 
That is very disgusting. Skinny like me, look at me, I'm like a neck. I'm born. You don't want to marry a woman, she's a bone. So Allah, he promised us that in the heaven, your wife is going to be one mile side butt. And we have to admit, we love it. Call me, doctor. Call me. This guy is a doctor. Call me. What are you waiting for? Allah, by the way, uh, is going to give you extra deeds if you call me. You are a doctor and defending Allah and explain it. That's amazing. You know, do it. Come on. Why? Why you are hesitating? Tell us why. Your mom is there. Your wife, she did not approve it. Why you are not calling? You are not a man enough to call me? Why? What is the reason? Mm. Uh, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me show you guys how the Muslims, they got themselves busted again. Look, look, this guy, he keep posting this. Uh, you know, I did not, uh, I did not go ready for what he said. Let me copy. Hold on. Man, my desktop will be full of the copies of the Abdul. All right. Let us clean the screen and laugh again at the Abdul getting their profit busted. I love you, Abdul. You are my best joy. So this Abdul, he said, in Matthew chapter 7, verse number 21-23, Jesus, he will call you Christians dog for calling him God. <clears throat> are you sure? Muhammadan, are you sure? Hmm. If I show the screen in front of your eyes, how many times this verse you quote for us is going to get your prophet busted? Let us see, let us see, let us see. Twice, three times, four times, five times, six times, seven times, eight times, 20, 21, 23. Like, what the heck? I mean, your prophet is going to get busted. The Muslims, they say to us, show me one verse in the Bible says, Jesus said, I am God. Don't they do that? Well, the verse you just quote for me, it says that he is God. And not only that, he is the one is saying it. Read carefully. Not everyone says into me, Lord, Lord shall enter the kingdom of heaven. This is how stupid those people who quote this verse to prove to us that Jesus is not God. Because the verse saying that Jesus say that he's God. He is saying not everyone. Abdul, are you blind? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I, I, I'm out of comments. Not everyone. Abdul, read carefully with me. Let me teach you some English. Even though my English is funny, <laughs> like the Arabic of your prophet. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Jesus said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, God, God, which mean there's many. They will say to Jesus, God, God, they will enter the heaven. There is many, actually the majority, because not everyone, that's mean, some of those who say to me, Lord, Lord, will not enter heaven. Not everyone. So there is many from those who say to me, Lord, 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 they will enter heaven. Now, why the Messiah is saying not everyone? Because saying to me, Lord, Lord, is the same as the Muslims saying Shahada. We don't believe in Shahada. Jesus, he don't like hypocrite like Muhammad. Jesus, he don't teach hypocrisy. So not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter heaven. 
but the one who say it and practice it believe in it the one who do the will of my father what is the will of my father is to be holy like your father many they will say to me in that day lord lord we prophesied in your name you believe it they prophesy in his name in the name of thee we cast the devils you believe it by the name of the messiah which means they are using the power of the messiah for his name is powerful we can cast out the devils if we use the name of muhammad you will have the devil immediately inside you in the name of thee the name of who of the messiah the lord we did many miracles and then i proves into them i never know you depart from me why why he will say that to them because you did not work for me you work for your own glory read carefully muslims the verse you are posting for us is a proving to us that the Lord and the Messiah is Lord. Do you see it? And yet the Abdul, they say to you, where Jesus said, I am God, worship me. In the name of Jesus, you can cast the devil. Can I cast the devil in the name of Muhammad? Muhammad himself was infected by the devil as the Hadith and the Quran report for us. How somebody can cast devil out of you if he himself, he confirmed that he was infected by what's called the black magic, which is the act of the devil according to Islam. Hmm? Those who work for their own glory they don't work for the Messiah the Messiah who will say to them depart away from me I do not know you so the verse you quote for, Ma, for us Abdul is about Jesus saying and confirming who is he and as long you are quoting for me that verse what about you quote for me just a few verses before speaking about your prophet be aware of false prophet who come to you in a clothes of a sheep clothing but they are what they are wolves hmm? how we know if Muhammad is a prophet of God or not based on the teaching of our Lord the Messiah Jesus the Christ you shall know them by their fruits not by names who care about the name Muhammad name is Muhammad his Muhammad his name is uh, Michael Jackson his name is Trump who care you shall know them by their fruits. The fruits of Muhammad is the most ugly fruits ever you can imagine. And I challenge any Muslim to prove me wrong. Call me. My Skype is open. If we compare between the fruits of Jesus and the fruits of Muhammad, be honest with Muslims. Who is the one you think he is the holy and he is the filthy. In the same chapter, Jesus he said, Enter ye, you know, the gate is wide. The gate is wide. Hmm? Be ready, Muslims. The gate is wide. You choose the wrong false belief and no one can save you not me not me no one can save you save the Lord the Messiah his name is holy and even your Quran confirm that he is the Word of God the one who never commits sin the one right now is a living person in heaven which means now as we speak Muslims 
Muhammad is dead in the grave and the Messiah is listening. They say to us, where Jesus says, I'm God, worship me. Jesus said, every two of you mention my name. I will be between you. That is God. Now we speak about him. He is between us. He is listening. He see you. He see me. That is the Messiah. We are followers of the living Messiah. You are a follower of the dead Muhammad. Let the dead bury the dead. That is the word of my Lord. And you Muslims following the dead. So think where you will end. The Christian are following the living one. And think where they will end. And you know, if we go and read any chapter in the Quran, the Muslim they speak about the amazing Quran. And what is the amazing? We sing it. Shish kabab falafel. Ha ha ha. Amin. Well, singing, okay. And, but there's no meaning. Stupid Quran. There's no meaning. When you go and read the Bible, every word is amazing. Look how concentrated the wisdom there. This is not a person just talking, saying rubbish words. Every line can make you live a life, lifetime to enjoy it. If we go to the Quran right now, you will get dizzy after two seconds and you learn nothing after reading 10 hours. And this is my challenge to the Muslims. Who is the Muslim when I give me a chapter in the Quran and this chapter is amazing chapter? can be the best example for us to read and to learn from it. Any Muslim? Who is a Muslim can do that for us? Who is the Muslim when I do us a favor? And you are asking me why I am a Christian? Find me better than Christ and I will follow him. That is a Christ, my friend. The best of the best, not a child molester who go after children. While Messiah was resurrecting people from death, your prophet was having sexual intercourse with a child. While the Messiah was giving people eyes and making them see and heal the sick, your prophet was going after women, visiting his own son, flirting with his wife when she was away, when he was away. Who in the world want to follow Muhammad? That is my Lord. And this is why my name is a Christian prince. I am a prince by him. Who is your Lord? Tell me about him. Who is the Muslim when I call me and tell me one good teaching in Islam? One, even the one they claim it's good, it is stolen from our Bible. Even the one they claim, the good ones, is stolen from our Bible. It's a theft. Tell me something in the Quran is not stolen from the Bible and it's good. Who is the Muslim I do that? Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me show you another stupid statement Muslims always they say. I'm not, by the way, I'm not insulting when I say stupid. I mean it. I'm not insulting. I mean it, you know. Insult is to say to someone you are stupid when he is not. But let me prove to you that Muslims are stupid when I say it. I mean it. Read with me carefully what this guy he just said. Just to show you that the Muslims they have a sh they, they have a lack of intellect, serious one. <clears throat> All right. Guys, read carefully with me. 
This is the statement of the Abdul, not my statement. Mary was 12 years old when she had sex with an old man, Joseph. 90 years old after the birth of Jesus. You see how stupid you are. You just said, you just said, something is not true, first of all. There's not even a single book in the world saying and knows the, the age of Jesus. You want to tell me that you went to the website, it's a Wikipedia? Go and play with it. If we say for the sake of argument, she was 12 years old, but yet she gave birth. That means she is a woman already. This is how stupid you are. This is how stupid you are. She is already, she gave birth. So which means she had sex after she gave birth. And this is your statement. So she is a woman. Stupid Abdul. Aisha, by the way, he, he is quoting from a website. The website doesn't even, at 12, it says 13. This is what they claim, you know? But this is just a, a hocus, stupid thing. Never exist. So it is 13 in that website, and this guy is a liar again. 13, that's mean. That mean what? Watch. Six. Plus. Six. Plus one. That means she was twice the age of Aisha, plus one year. <laughs> Do you see it? She was twice the age of Aisha, plus one year. And here, by the way, I have another question. Who is going? Who is the one who is going to help me? There is something here that will get the Muslim busted again. Who is going to help me? Let us see who of you here you have high IQ. By the way, I, I was the smarter, the smartest student in my classroom, just to be honest with you. But I will not mention to you that I was the only student in that classroom. Just this is between you and okay, don't share. But I was the smartest in the classroom, even though I was the only student, but who care? Still, I was the smartest. The same as Allah when he say, he is the best of the creators, but yet there's no other creators. I mean, how stupid that statement is. How you are the best of the creators, but you are the only creator there, supposedly. Let it go, let it go, come on, let it go. Now, what is the problem in the statement of this Abdul? Somebody help me, come on. I know you can do better. I know you can do better. Come on, somebody tell me. After the birth of Jesus, no, there is something. There is something. It's in the front of your eyes. Come on, come on. Somebody, 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 somebody tell me. There is something. He, This guy, he just said there, will get Islam busted again. Hold on. They just admitted that the Quran is a stupid book. No, no, he said, he said after the birth of Jesus, he said that it's, she was, which means she was virgin. She, he said that already when he said after the birth of Jesus. Okay, hold on. He just said and admitted that she didn't marry a man, his name is Joseph. Correct? No. She didn't marry a man, his name is Joseph. How come the stupid Quran did not mention that in the story. According to the Quran, Mary, she never married anyone. She never knew a man. And she became a nun. That's mean your Quran information is absolutely wrong about Mary. Where is Joseph in the Quran? Huh? Where is Joseph? You are the one who just admitted that there is, there is a man. His name is Joseph. Your God, Allah, he have time to tell us about Muhammad eating falafel. Please, my followers, brothers and sisters, if you want to eat falafel, huh, be sure you buy it from halal falafel. If you walk in the street, listen carefully, because the ant, she might say to you, and she might speak the same as Suleiman, he heard the ant. I mean, we have stories in the Quran, used, I mean, useless, stupid, cartoon. But Allah, he forgot to tell us who is Joseph. Who is Joseph? Where is Joseph? Mary, she never have a man in the Quran and she never touch a man. Even after the birth of Jesus, she was a virgin. How this happened? 
You are reading my Bible? First of all, I don't have a Bible. Let me get you busted again. This Abdul, he just, you see, every word you say to me, Muslims, every word you say to me is going to be considered against you in the court of law. Let me show you another mistake, this stupid Abdul, he said. Hello? <laughs> Hello, my name is Miska, I'm from Sweden, and the Abdul call uh, uh, Joseph was 19 years old. Yeah. But in the story, when Jesus goes to the temple, he was 12. Then it means he was, uh, Joseph was uh, 102 years old. How can this 102 years old man walk this long uh, distance? Uh, you know, we don't care what they say. You know, this is not, uh, in our, our book is the Bible and nothing else is our book, you know. They can yeah, say whatever but, uh, they want. They come with these lies and but even, uh, even, where, even, where they get this, he no, was 90 years old. Uh, you know, I actually, uh, I, I, I know a friend, he used to live in the time of Joseph. To be honest with you and he told me that at that time he met with joseph in the in the in the dentist clinic and he okay. was he was old yeah he was old i mean muslims they come with fiction stories and uh, and even this story even if it's true what that would do for us but the, the sick thing is uh, that islam says uh, moses have a swollen ball uh, like tentacles and this is true by the way i saw i, I I'm, I'm from the middle east once i saw moses was taking a shower and his like his left ball was like not right. There's something wrong with it. But later we found that he had too much gas because he was eating too much beans. You know. But this uh, camel urine has affected their brain maybe because they By the come way, with this light so much. My friend, my friend, you are wrong. According to the scientist from Japan, I know him very well. He's my friend too. We used we, we used to be together. Like you know, uh, he was the emperor of uh, Zimbabwe. I used to be the emperor of uh, Japan at that time. And uh, uh, according to the scientists, he said that it's proven by science that uh, 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 if you drink camel urine, you will become a urinator. But uh, I also heard um, uh, <laughs> Abdul called uh, that if you drink uh, camel urine, uh, you can uh, be uh, from AIDS or cancer can be healed. First of all, my friend, Muslims, they never have cancer. And especially in Mecca. I did search in the uh -huh. internet. I found that most of people in, in Mecca they are having cancer, especially for drinking from the well of Zamzam because it have arsenic. Uh, <clears throat> I, I don't know what to say. My, my friend still is some uh, water is like Hindus have this uh, Gan Ganges uh, water. It's same. This guy is all over the place. Why are you are going to India? So the focus will be. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Christian, uh, for good work, and uh, I'm uh, very glad uh, that I uh, you take my call. You're welcome. By and the by, by the way, I, get, uh, I have I have one uh, one of my books. Your, uh, yeah, I don't know if you know. I have one of my books in Swedish. Do you know that? I didn't know. Oh, you can go to Amazon.com and you can search. Just type Christian Prince, and you will see the list of my books. One of them is in Swedish. Maybe, okay, I get maybe, to do it. Maybe you can share Thank with you. your friends, you know, and uh, tell them about about the book. Thank you very much, my friend. Thank you. God bless. God bless you. Jesus be with you. Thank you. Be with you too. So, you know, at first I, I was excited. I thought we have a Muslim calling. I mean, uh, where is the Muslims? Where is the Muslims? Hmm? Where is the Muslims? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel because, as I said, for now we will do live podcast in Christian Prince channel so we have the other one we will take a break from it you know <clears throat> for some time and we will be with you in this one do we have any Abdul anyone anyone Who is a Muslim would like to call me? I'm really upset that Joseph was 19 years old. <laughs> that's that's amazing. What happened to Joseph? Hey Joseph, you are 90 years old. Now, now this guy, Joseph, guys, he is 90 years old and he is looking for a bride and he have never been married. I mean, what what do, what this guy was doing all his life? He is was just logging in in a harmony. This guy, he never had a wife before. 
he is 90 years old oh young I mean who, who in the world want to believe such a stupid story you know in old days uh, you know when you are like uh, 15 16 17 uh, you know people they get married what nine years old especially if he can support himself you know my parents my parents both of them they married in a very young age but not for sure not at 12 and 13 you know so uh, Muslims they have a lack of intellect and they are desperately looking for a solution how their prophet at the age of 54 having sexual relationship with a child even that your statement will not save your prophet because based on your statement Mary was a woman already she delivered a child who is a Muslim would like to call anyone who is a Muslim would like to call I am a product of Muta did you did you guys see what he said I am product of Muta it's you you just admitted that Islam teach you something filthy Islam teach you to do Muta and you are talking about me product of Muta well your prophet is a product of Muta because in Islam Muhammad he was not married I mean his father <clears throat> Hello, my friend. Hello, CP. How are you? I'm all right. How are you doing? Good. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, my God. I just got so pissed off whenever these Abduls bring up the age of Mary, mm. right? And Rebecca. Rebecca's a new one they found. They found out the age of Rebecca was three years old when she got married to Isaac or so. That doesn't say so that. That's a, that's a lie. That's a lie. Yeah. It doesn't say that. It doesn't None say of these that. ages are in the Bible. I don't know where they're getting this. This is, from. you know, they mix between two verses. Once, when the first time he saw her, she was a three years old. When he married her, what she was not a three years old. Stupid Abdul, you know? Yeah, you know, in, in the book of Genesis, Rebecca was drawing water for, um, for people and the camels. Like, what three year old does that? No, no, it doesn't. Know? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You see, the Muslims, they they always they try to match things together. If I saw a girl when she was a three years old first time and then after that I married her maybe 10 years maybe 20 years maybe uh, 50 years I don't know what that had to do with marrying I like, let us do it right now what, what do you think what do you think let us make a challenge right now to the Muslims to call us and show us where they can find any place in the Bible it says that Rebecca she married at the age of a three if you can show me that I'm going to stop my broadcast and I will apologize immediately <laughs> Who want to exactly. do that? Exactly, and they should do the same for Mary. <laughs> yeah, who want to do that? Who is the Muslim Abdul want to do that? Let us go to Rebecca. It's getting ridiculous. So, anyways, I, you know, I, I want to address this because they always get defensive with Aisha's age, and they always, always to try to say that oh, okay, this was the norm at the time of Muhammad. So, are they saying that Allah is okay with uh, this is true, my Islamic this is the true. Uh, pagan society in the of East, Arabia when yeah. it comes to Mary? Hold on, this is true. In the Middle East. In the time of the prophet which is my time too because i'm old uh we get married very young as an example my first date was with a girl she was three hours old and at that time i was i think <laughs> three days old something like that because in the middle east we get horny very fast you know girls and boys they get so horny and they grow actually according to the uh, stories of the books of islam there's a boy he was born after his mother was threaten it with him for four years and he have his balls are out and he have a beard you know I mean this guy is ready to get married so everything is possible in Islam everything <laughs> you know do we have any Muslim would like to call us maybe you can refute this guy I don't know what this guy is talking about you know, I don't you know, know. no this needs to be uh, 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 put in the coffin once and for all the age stuff you know you the thing is Muslims claim that Muhammad is the perfect, the utmost, the top example for all of mankind, for all of humanity, for eternity, right? We don't claim such a thing for any of the patriarchs or prophets in the Bible, except for Jesus, right? But Jesus is God to us. So how are they comparing Muhammad's life, lifestyle, or his decisions to what Kafirs, Kafirs did, right? To unbelievers did, right? But, they always mention, know, oh, the Queen of England or the uh, King of England was 12 when he married such and such. 
oh, this was normal back in the day. But you know what? We don't hold those people to such high standards like we do to Jesus and like they do to Muhammad. So they need to really stop using this excuse to defend the pedophilia of this monster. No, it's, you see, uh, what about not only uh, Muhammad was a pedophile, the Muslims themselves, they practice that. You know, yeah, exactly. in the in the in the Quran, it says it clearly that those who have reach no age of ministration. <coughs> sorry, how to divorce them? <clears throat> so, the Muslims, even the Quran, let's go to the verse, speak about how to divorce a child who never had ministration yet. All right, let us see. And I changed the Muslim to say that's not true. All right. Uh, if we go here, it says, "Well, isna min al mahid min nisaikum in er tabtum fa'adatuhum etc." So let us see the, uh, see the verse, chapter sixty-five, verse number four. Chapter sixty-five, verse number four. This one is speaking about what? Let us see. You see, I don't go, and I make my own interpretation for the Quran. I see what the Muslims believe and whatever they believe I will take it all right whatever they believe let us read it. so it says here this is about divorcing women those women who you divorce they have to wait for three months after divorce before they can get married again what is the purpose of this to be sure that right? they are not pregnant yeah now look, look read with me here carefully it says oh messenger of Allah oh messenger of Allah what about the waiting period of those who do not have menstruation because they are too young? <laughs> do, do you see it, Muslims? Do you see it? They are what? Too young. So Muhammad, not only he himself, he was doing with the with the filia. The Muslims they've been ordered to follow it, and they were following that in the time of Muhammad. He he was the first to start it. And then here we are talking about divorcing babies. Who they are too young any comment from the Muslims now don't tell me don't tell me I'm fabricating here we go this is your official Islamic website this is a website owned by the royal family of Ahlul Bayt Institute of Amman Jordan the king of Jordan and the one is talking there is the cousin of your prophet Ibn Abbas and the one is talking in the hadith is your prophet what do you say? He said it's about divorce. <laughs> yeah, divorce. Divorce who? Divorce babies. <laughs> Divorcing babies. You know. You know what's funny? Like this was going on for fourteen centuries until we brought oh, it up. Hold on, recently, hold on, hold right? on, hold on. I, I I like their comment. I, I like their comment. This guy actually, I'm going to make him an admin in my in my chat here. This guy is a priceless. Hold on, guys, read with me carefully what this guy he just said. <clears throat> Read with me. Let me zoom in. This is about divorce, not marriage, idiot. Thank you very much. It's about divorcing who? Divorcing those who they are too young. <laughs> Which means you married them, they are babies. Now, this is the time of divorce. God knows. Maybe a year, maybe you married them. A year. There's no way you divorce them after a week. Those are married already, but they are, they are babies. So uh, this is about divorce, not marriage, you idiot. So they, they, are you divorcing them before you marry them? <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, Abdul. <laughs> huh? Are you trying to prove to me that they are not married them yet? So now we have divorced them, but they did not marry them yet. So we Muslims, we divorce girls who they are very young, but we did not marry them. That, that's some, some, something. That's hilarious. Brother, sisters, brother, sisters. In Islam, brother, sister. In Islam, brother, you can divorce a child, but you cannot marry a child. This is the true story. <laughs> Oh man, CP. Yeah. So I I have a question. So you know how the uh, Bukhari, right? The Hadith uh, of yeah. Aisha, or narrated by Aisha, Aisha, she claims that 
uh, the marriage was consummated at age 12, right? So no, is there nine, any evidence, nine, nine, any evidence nine, nine, uh, nine, that she, nine, um, nine, uh, she passed her period at age 12? No, nine, not 12. She never said 12. Never. Oh, I'm sorry. Nine, nine. I'm sorry. I yeah. apologize. But right. no. is there any evidence that she uh, passed her period at nine? I, is there any narration saying that she passed her I, period Aisha, at nine? She have her period first time at the age of fourteen. Sorry, uh, after the age of fourteen, because the Muslim they, they, there is a question was about why Aisha she was permitted to play with her dolls. The answer was because she did not have her period until the after the age of fourteen. So until that time, the Prophet he allowed her to have dolls in her bed. So until 14, she never had her period. However, wow. So, so Mr. A. a. Abrams, did you did you hear that? All right, your your prophet married a child at six. He lost it after a child at six had sex with her at nine, and she didn't even pass her period at nine. You disgusting man. Correction, correction. He did not have sex with her in, in, at at nine. He had sex with her at the age of six, but it oh was it was God. not it was not intercourse. It was fondling her. She is his wife already. Remember, he married her at the age of six. Which means she is his lawful wife. Intercourse was at the age of nine. Between that age, the six and nine, it was, you know, he played with her. You know? Yeah. Do we have any Abdul when I call us? I hope an Abdul calls. Please, Abrams, call him. Please, please. Right. <clears throat> any Abdul? All right, my friend. Anything you want to say? Maybe I'll, maybe, I'll probably call later. <laughs> yeah, maybe the Abdul they will call. Just give them, give them a chance. Okay, bye. Thank you, my friend. Thank you for calling. Do we have any Muslim? So, guys, I, I'm going to make this uh, this statement of Abraham as a flag in my chat room. This is about divorce, not marriage, idiot. <laughs> we Muslims, we divorce babies. We don't marry them. Because in Islam, everything is upside down. We divorce first and we marry after. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oof. Oof. I mean, obviously, Christian Prince is a stupid, stupid idiot. I mean, look at this. He must be stupid. Look at this. I mean, look, what's wrong with you? This is about divorce, nothing about marriage. What's wrong with you? You have a problem with your head. You know, this this Christian prince is really crazy. <laughs> Every day I speak to Muslims, I am more convinced that they are the most, they have the most expensive brain ever because their brain never been used. Smart. Super, never been used. I mean, who can beat that? Every step, every, every, what? There's a song, it's called. I'm very good in, in songs, remember, hold on. Every, every day, I forgot, man. Every step I take, every place I, I don't know. I find a Muslim and he is so smart. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 the funny he claimed to be a doctor if this is what the doctor he say what about a guy he is not <laughs> let me tell you how i see the muslims when they speak to me i will give you i will give you an image to explain to you uh, uh, like better uh, better explanation a muslim when he debate me he open a book and he starts supposedly burning me <laughs> oh boy Abdul I'm not the one is burning it's your newspaper trust me it's not me who's burning it's your newspaper you know they are reading for me supposedly they are writing you know they are writing their news and they're giving me their news and telling me, see, this is how we refute you. But the fact they are burning themselves. Super intelligent religion. Beyond your imagination. Who can beat that? This is additional proof that Allah must be God. Look at this. Actually, I'm surprised that this guy is not reading the newspaper upside down. 
because the prophet do not know how to read, how to write, <laughs> which means it doesn't make any difference anyway. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. You know, we know that this love is not real. You know, we know that. You know, do, do you know those American show where the love start before the joke? Let us do it this way. Uh, when I do, a... <laughs> what I said nothing. Good. Hey, director, what are you doing, man? You know what I'm talking about, right? Those uh, those American show when the 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 love is ready. It's a pre. It's a, it's, a <laughs> and the joke is a stupid. Welcome to Islam. So do we have any Abdul here would like to call me? <clears throat> hmm? We have 177 watching and not even one Abdul. I mean, this is not even fair. There, There is an American uh, show. It's called what? I forgot. I forgot the name. About two girls. Two girls. One of them, is her boobs is coming out. What they call them? Uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, uh, two broken girls, two broken girls, I think, right? That is Islam, my friend. That is the wisdom of Islam. There, watch the two broken girls. Who is the most that want to give me a call and give me about his broken religion? Show us another verse, guys. What's wrong with those Abdul? Show us. Another verse supported child marriage in the Quran. I mean, you just admitted that this verse is supporting child marriage in the Quran. So the, why I need to show you another verse? <laughs> Unbelievable. What's wrong with the Abdul? Show us another verse. Hello? Why I will show you another verse if one verse is enough? <laughs> oh boy uh, so you admitted that this verse teaching you sex of a relationship with babies now you want me to show you more no I'm not going to show you more one is enough <laughs> unless you call me what about you call me what do you think call me and let us see if I can give you more verses what do you say huh <clears throat> Who is a Muslim would like to call me? Show us another verse to support child marriage in the Quran. It's not enough that his prophet marry a child at the age of six. It's not enough that his the wife of the prophet saying he did marry at the age of six. It's not enough that the prophet said, speaking about divorcing children, it's not enough we show him a verse from the Quran. Still, he's asking for more proofs. Do you have a proof? You don't have a proof, don't you? Huh? How come you don't have a proof? What's wrong with you? Obviously, you are out of approves. See, Christian Prince is out of approves. He gave us only 20 proofs. This is not enough. We are Muslims. We ask for more. Any Abdul? Any Abdul in the bushes? No? Not even one? I'm really very disappointed. I thought, you know, the Muslims will come to us uh, and they will call and they will show us that we are wrong. And, you know, the Muslims, they have a strong knowledge, we have to admit. I never saw, ever, ever, a Muslim, he don't know what he's talking about. They know. I mean, the Muslims are the one of people of knowledge. Unbelievable. Sometimes, Muslims are kind like of people, they are beyond imagination. You don't know what they mean. You do not know what they are saying because they themselves, they have no idea what they are talking about. But still, they are the most smart people and we have to admit. Any Muslim? Who is a Muslim when I call us? Anyone? Any half one? So Abraham is a doctor. By the way, Abraham, you are a doctor on what? What is your specialty, Mr. Abraham, as long as you are a doctor? Hmm? What is your specialty as long as you are a doctor? What 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 is it? What is it? What do you do? Doctor in what? Uh, because I have a question for you. 
you know we don't meet doctors every day me myself my my the the highest certificate i have is a, a driver license chinese medicine chinese medicine guys this guy is a doctor in chinese medicine i never heard of a child doctor of chinese what do you mean doctor in chinese medicine what does that mean fabricated uh, medicine chinese medicine everything uh, everything these days is made by chinese what are you talking about what does that mean what chinese medicine which university you graduated from from uh chinese cuisine what is that so you are a fake doctor, huh? aren't you? You are what, those guys who open a store in the Middle East and they sell people camera urine and you call yourself a doctor? <clears throat> huh? Yeah, take a herb. Take this herb. It's good for sexual, in, sexual uh, power. I saw a Chinese doctor, actually, when I was in Asia. I saw a woman. She is selling cockroaches, you know, barbecued cockroaches. And I said, "What is that? Is that a is that a bar, is that a cockroach?" She said, "Sir, this is good for boom boom." What? Ah, you are the one who sell cockroaches for boom boom. <laughs> Unbelievable, boom boom. Anyway, this guy he will not call. I think because his newspaper is burning and he have uh, he he have to he have to stop the fire. He don't know how to do it. Use some medicine. As long as you are a Chinese doctor, how do you describe for me your prophet is screaming at one of his patients who uh, came to him and uh, uh, his brother was sick. Do you know the story? <clears throat> huh? A person came to Muhammad and he told him that his brother is so sick. Oh, let us say sick in the beginning. The prophet told him without even asking what is the disease or the problem. <laughs> I mean, perfect doctor, man. Uh, what? How in the world the prophet, he knew what the problem? This, this guy did not even say what is the problem. Let me, let me show you the hadith. Hold on. Let us go there. Read with me, doctor. I need your help, brother. Read with me. A man came to the Prophet of Allah and said, My brother has some abominable trouble. The Prophet said, Let him drink honey. Like, what the heck? Right away, honey? There is a billion reasons can be for the reason for his problem. The person, he have a problem in his belly. We just tell him take honey maybe he have a diarrhea already maybe he is dying from uh, 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 you know some kind of bacteria or virus or etc or maybe he had he need a surgery maybe his what they call it the one uh, explode usually in English I forgot you know there is it can be any reason right away the prophet he said what if he have diabetes <laughs> The Prophet said, let him drink honey. Ah, this is the medicine for all diseases. Muhammad, he was able to recover. Give him honey. He did not ask him what he feel, what happened. No, 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 no. Give him honey. The guy <clears throat> came for the second time. And the Prophet said to him, let him drink honey, which means the guy he came again, the guy getting more sick. The guy he came for the third time. The guy he's getting more sick now. Seriously. The prophet said, Let him drink honey. <laughs> he returned again. Like, what the heck? The fourth time? Obviously, his brother is dying. The prophet, right? Huh? And he said to the prophet, I have done that. Are you stupid or what? I have done that. The prophet said, Allah has said the truth, but your brother Billy told a lie. Like, what the heck? <laughs> My 
his stomach is lying. Dr. Muhammad, I mean, what do you expect from Dr. Muhammad? Your your stomach is, imagine you go to the doctor, you tell him, I, you, the medicine you gave me is doing nothing, I'm dying. You go first time, second time, third time, fourth time, <clears throat> and then what the, what the doctor, he say? He scream at you, he says, you idiot, stupid, your, your stomach is lying to you, and Allah told the truth, which means he claimed that the medicine or that the prescription he gave is from Allah. This is not him. It's from Allah. How dare you? How dare you to say that the recipe of Allah is not working? Allah told the truth. Hmm? That's amazing, doctor. I want to meet this doctor. Who want to tell me that your belly hmm? is a lying? <clears throat> but we have to be honest. And the end of the hadith says, so he made him a drink honey and he was cured. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. We just received a special recipe from Dr. Abram. If you drink Honey with milk, you will sleep right away. <laughs> that is something. <laughs> oh boy, I'm going to add this to my recipes. So, if we drink honey <clears throat> with milk, you will sleep right away. <clears throat> Are you sure? <laughs> oh boy. Okay, Abdul, listen carefully. Abdul. So why your prophet did not order you to drink honey with milk? Instead, he ordered you to drink honey with camel urine. We have a problem here. What do you say, doctor? Why your prophet did not say honey with milk? He said honey with camel urine. Doctor Abram, are you there? If we drink honey with camel urine, what that will do to us? Huh? For your voice, drink honey. What's wrong with my voice? My voice is beautiful. Once I received a, an email from a woman, uh, she is a Muslim. She said, Christian Prince, so what if your voice is very sexy? I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> a lot of hate. That's a lot of hate. Don't worry about my voice. <clears throat> Answer the question, please, doctor. Why your prophet did not prescribe for us? Shut up, come on. And the guy is talking. Don't you see that Abdul is talking in text? Show respect. So, why your prophet did not prescribe for us honey with milk? Instead, he prescribed for us honey and camel urine. What do you say? Did you try? Be honest with me. Did you try to use both in the same time? And what happened? Did you make a study about it? Huh? When the time will come and we will find in the market a brand like Pepsi Cola, but it's urine. Why Muslims don't have in their stores like uh, halal urine? <clears throat> hmm? Sure, you know, I know many Chinese doctors. Let me ask him the question in Chinese. This is why he is not answering in English. Let us do it. Okay. Now, please tell us the answer, Mister Chinese doctor. Don't tell me you are you studied Chinese medicine, but you don't you don't you don't speak Chinese. What? You don't speak Chinese? So you are a Chinese doctor, medicine doctor, but you don't speak Chinese. That's that's something. What what? 
guys look look carefully dr abraham he came to he came, he gave us an answer you see this is take a note please this is a doctor speaking now okay we are going to send his message uh to the <clears throat> United Nation to help to fight disease around the world look what this guy he said let me show you my friend let me show you amazing so beautiful this is why I, I love Muslims dr. Abrams who is a Muslim he's, he's a doctor his specialty is a Chinese medicine listen carefully camel urine with milk WSA given to a tribe that had a disease and it worked. <laughs> Are you sure? It worked. I mean, are you sure that this is work? Seriously. Do you have a proof that this is work? <laughs> By the way, do you think after the Assad, according to, uh, to Trump, he used chemical weapon, which is a fabricated story? Hmm? Weak hadith, weak hadith. Uh, the Assad use uh, a chemical weapon to attack the terrorist. Do you think if we give them camel urine, that will help them, my friend, to overcome the uh, problem? <laughs> <laughs> mm. Anyway, anyway, I, I don't know what to say. I mean, uh, Islam is a major religion. We have to admit. We have to admit. Uh, guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If you are here for the first time, subscribe. If you are here for the second time and you subscribe already, and subscribe and subscribe again because this is the logic of Islam. If you unsubscribe and subscribe and unsubscribe and subscribe, Allah will give you more and more and more deeds. This is the logic of Islam. I can prove it. Amazing. <clears throat> Who is a Muslim when I give us a call? I mean, I'm here for the last, what? Almost two hours. Two hours? No, not two hours. Yeah, two hours and 18 minutes. And not even a Muslim want to call me. I mean, that's not right. Hello, my friend. How are you? Yeah, but we have to we have to admit here that version of Islam they are not really versions. You know, the Quran says that each time you sleep with her, Allah will make her version. And the Quran promises you He will give you a version, which means she is a version, but already she been used. <laughs> I mean, this is how we do it. Do it, do it, do it. The virgin, 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 do it. Amazing. They are virgin, huh? So they are version, but they are being used. I mean, how, how <laughs> unbelievable! I feel like rain come in my head with this wisdom. <laughs> Shower time. <clears throat> Maybe I will wake up. How they are versions, but they are not versions. How you promise me a woman she is virgin and no genie and no man has sexual intercourse and he open according to the Quran says open her uh, you know your her you know garage hmm? how she nobody uh, do that but you are saying to me each time you have sex with her she will come virgin again that means she's not a virgin already it's a lie <clears throat> so what the point of this virginity virgin again Hmm? That is Islam. That's amazing. Any Abdul? Um, how many of you here is first time? 
I warn you by the way those who come here first time you will be addicted once I received a, a text message from a lady and I thought it's a guy because usually it's a guy who come and you know listen to me and then he said because of you I'm going I'm, I might get divorced <laughs> I, said, I said what what do you mean brother I said I'm not the brother I am his wife my husband he come to your chat and he sat here for hours he don't sit with us we are fighting because of you <laughs> unbelievable uh, so I warned this guy I told him I'm going to ban you okay if you, you go and sit with you stay here like an hour maximum not stay here like seven six hours I'm a single guy I can stay for 20 hours if I want my my four mother-in-law in vacation all my wives they commit suicide <laughs> Because I'm very, very nice and unique. So why you are here? Uh, <clears throat> look what Abraham he said. I mean, I like it when the Muslims admit who they are. Look what look what Abraham he said, guys. Did you see the miracle? Did you see the miracle of being in the present of a Christian prince? Look, look what Abraham. <clears throat> My friend, you are fantastic. Look what Abraham said. Look, look. This is Abraham's statement. I am the only Abdul <laughs> here. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you. Oof. It's getting hot here. We are laughing too much. I cannot take it no more. I might have a heart attack. <clears throat> you are there's no way you are the only Abdul here. Are you kidding me? There's a lot of Abduls, but they are in the bushes. They are not brave like you. They are here. There's no way 200 people watching, and only you are the only Abdul here. I'm impossible. It's impossible. <clears throat> Hold on, hold on, hold on. What a joke. Abdul means the, ser the servant of uh, 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 what? Slave of servant or servant. Hold on. <clears throat> so why you Muslims get upset from me when I call them Abdul? Tell me, Abraham. Be honest with me. Why the Muslims? Guys, read carefully. This is what Abdul, Abraham, he said. Okay? Hold on. This is his statement. What a joke. What is the what is the joke? Abdul means slave or servant. So why Muslims when they call me I say, How are you, Abdul? He says to me, Why you are saying me Abdul? I'm not Abdul. Ah, they are stupid. I like it. Let me take this one too. I mean, today I'm going to make a, an, a, an album of your statement, man. You are full of wisdom. Guys, did you see what uh, what uh, what Abraham he said? He just said that his brothers in Islam and sisters, they are stupid. I guess you are right, but I can't say. But by the way, this statement can be found, the one you see in the screen, they are stupid, can be found in Sahih al-Bukhari, okay? By the companion of the Prophet, his name is Abram, Hadith number 666. What else you want to say to us? <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim would like to call? Hmm? Actually, let us do this. Let us do this. Hold on. I want to show you something. Uh, what's happening here? Hold on. I could not find it. How come? Hmm. <coughs> Let us see.
You want to see what the Antichrist he do with the 666 in Islam? <laughs> oh boy. <coughs> All right. He was having sex. Hmm. He took a bath actually. Let us see what I can find. No, no, I can't find it. Yeah, it says he took a bath. <clears throat> he knew. He knew he needed to take a shower. Okay. Sahih Muslim 666. The Messenger of Allah <clears throat> said, He who purified himself in his house and then he walked to the one of the houses of Allah for the sake of performing fard, which means obligation. Out of fard, obligation again. I mean, why don't I translate that? <laughs> Both his step would be significant if, if, if as one of them would be, I mean, if, if, if his sin and the second one would raise his status. That is a teaching of the 666 hadith. Mm, interesting. <clears throat> Any comment? Any comment from those who you read the newspaper is burning? Anyone? All right, I think we have enough for today. Today we started early, uh, but uh, remember, guys, please tell your friends to subscribe to this channel because we will do live podcast in this channel from now on until I update you with other update. So, uh, <clears throat> and uh, if you like to contact me, uh, you will see there is a three links under the info of the of the video, and we have a link for donation for those who like to make donation. Uh, but if you want to send me a message, don't send me a message just to say hi, you know, if you have something important to say, all right? Otherwise, I have a lot of people contact me, and I better save my time for those who need it. And this is why we are here. We are here to help you to understand Islam. I'm not here really to make fun of anyone. I'm here to show you the truth. And the truth, it might be funny sometime and stupid, you know, what we can say. Uh, but it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt uh, to laugh and to enjoy your time. In the same time, to learn. No, fard fard is not fart. Fart is different word. Fard is like obligation. You know, it's like something you have to. Right? It's a something you must do. It's not a choice. This is what fard mean in Arabic. <clears throat> anyway, so. Uh, uh, Today is Thursday. Uh, no, today is Thursday. So I think tomorrow we will do. Uh, what about doing broadcast tomorrow? Let us see. Hold, hold on. Let me see what I have tomorrow. My four wives in vacation. Yeah. My sixth wife, seven wife, eight wife. And this one is not coming tomorrow. Okay. My four mother-in-law. I send them to Disneyland because because she they are she is young too. Um, yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow we will have a broadcast again at uh, four thirty. Are we good? In the same channel here in Christian Press. So take a note, please. Tomorrow at four thirty, we will be here again in the same channel, not in Arabian Prophet. And if somebody there in Arabian Prophet he asks in the text, please help me to answer him and tell him uh, to go to the other channel. All right. Already, actually, I posted a video there, so we can uh, redirect people to this direction. All right. Are we good? So thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. And all the Muslims who watch this video, this video is not against you. This video is for your benefit. Me as a Christian.
I've been ordered to love everyone. Otherwise, I don't belong to the Messiah. Me as a Christian, I've been ordered to forgive and to bless even those who curse me. And me as a Christian, I've been ordered, if I want to be willingly a follower of the Lord, the Christ, the Messiah, I have to invite you to the truth. And I have to help you to show your truth. I'm not making this, doing this to make fun of you. I'm here to help you. I'm not the one is winning here if I convince you. You are the winner. Maybe I lose my time, but you win the truth. And the Messiah, the Lord, he said, I am the truth. I am the truth. And there's no truth but him. And he said, search the books. Look for the truth. And the truth will set you free. So my friends, you Muslims, you are not my enemy, even though you hate me, and I know. The Messiah, he loves you, all of you, and he wants you to be saved. Don't be fooled by a version which is just a fiction. Don't be fooled by a man he promised you sexual entertainment. That's not from God. You do not need to be a genius to understand that this is going to be God a promise. God is not a pimp. That is the job of a pimp. God is holy. His heaven is holy. God is not a sexual provider. Sex and earth was for a reason. So we multiply. So we survive. But it was not the purpose. The purpose is the family. He gave you a joy with it. So you will do it because he knew you are lazy. If there is no joy, you will not even think about it. God is not a sex pimp. And it's a shame to think for a second that God is about sex. Think carefully. And again, I invite you to read the Gospel of Jesus to see his wisdom, to learn the truth. And the truth will set you free. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And we see you tomorrow at 4.30 again. God is willing. Love you all. And thank you very much for being here with me. God bless.